Good morning. Welcome to St. Charles. After Mass today, new the new parishioner committee <clears throat> is in the St. Charles room from 8 o'clock to 12.30 to answer questions and register anyone interested in becoming a member of St. Charles Parish. Let us offer together our prayer for a better understanding of true stewardship in our lives and here in our parish. Lord God, you alone are the source of every good gift of the vast array of our universe and the mystery of each human life. We praise you and we thank you for your great power and your tender, faithful love. Everything we are and everything we have is your gift. And after having created us, you have given us into the keeping of your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name and spirit of Jesus, we commit ourselves to be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us, to share our time, our talent, our material gifts as an outward sign of the treasure we hold in Jesus. Amen. Our presider for this Mass will be Monsignor Zara. Please stand and join us singing our entrance hymn number 424 in Breaking Bread, One Spirit, One Church. <laughs> Disciples. 
Angels of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, as we gather on this, the solemnity of Pentecost, we're reminded and invited to engage in life we are invited to bring forth God's kingdom. So for the times in which we have failed to do what our God wants us to do by bringing forth the kingdom, we seek forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. He's 
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctifies the whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with divine grace that is at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, Fill now once more the hearts of all believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered into a large cloud, crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and amazed, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? How then does each of us hear in his native language? We are Parthenians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongue of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join in singing this sequence found in Breaking Bread, number 191, Come All Holy Spirit, verse 1, 3, and 5. Give them joy. 
May the word of the Lord be in your heart and your soul and your mind that you may worthily and well proclaim the gospel, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this, the solemnity of Pentecost, we need to ask ourselves, was the presence of the Spirit in the life of Jesus? Did Jesus need the Holy Spirit? Was the Holy Spirit active and vibrant in the life of Jesus? When we go back to the pages of sacred scripture, we realize that at Jesus' baptism, when Jesus came out of the water, the Holy Spirit descended upon him. And the voice from the heavens acclaimed, you are my beloved son. And then there was an invitation extended, now listen to him. When Jesus began his public ministry, he goes to the synagogue. He opens the pages of sacred scripture. And there it is written that the Spirit of God is upon him. And then he gives characteristics and qualities as to how the Spirit is working in the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. When Jesus is resurrected, the Spirit is present. And in today's Gospel reading, that same Spirit descends upon those disciples, calling those disciples to be avenues of God's continual presence in the world. For most of us, it's easy to know who God is, that God is merciful. It's easy to identify who Jesus is, that Jesus is love. 
But when it comes to the Holy Spirit, we often become paralyzed because we're not sure who the Holy Spirit is and what purpose the Holy Spirit has in our life. And as we gather on this Pentecost Sunday, there is one word and one word only that describes the Holy Spirit. And that's the word power. That the Holy Spirit has a powerful influence upon our lives. If only we are receptive to the life-giving force of the Holy Spirit. I invite each and every one of us to go back to our confirmation. And when the bishop placed the chrism on your forehead and articulated the words, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, what happened then? Was it a feeling that something needed to change? Or rather, was it an action that the power of the Holy Spirit instills within each and every one of us? If it's just a mere feeling that somehow we're going to be changed, then in all honesty, feelings come and go. They're turned on and they're turned off. But with those words, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Action needs to happen. That we're not the same individuals any longer. But with the grace of the Holy Spirit, we're encouraged to transform the world, just like the disciples in today's Gospel reading that it is our responsibility to bring forth God's kingdom. A kingdom that basically is a kingdom of justice and love. A kingdom that is about peace. It is about a kingdom that is unified. And because it is unified, the oneness of the body of Christ is in fact lifted to the heights. At baptism, what happens is that we identify with whose we are. We're given the name Christian and all that Christianity exhibits. When we receive Eucharist, each and every one of us is called to be Christ for one another. We become what we receive. And if the Eucharist doesn't change our lives, it's then just an empty symbol. Instead of a transforming force in our lives. When we're confirmed, basically, the very essence of how we behave and who we are and what we must proclaim and articulate is the very essence of what confirmation is all about. We are transformed in order to transform the world in which we live in. Fifty days ago, members of our Arts CIA class, they were brought forth to receive the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Fifty days later, these new members of the church are visible signs for us because residing in their heart is still an excitement, an excitement to transform who they are in order to transform the world. Fifty days later, each and every one of us is called. 
once again to profess faith in God and his Son, Jesus Christ, and to live by the power of the Holy Spirit. This morning, I invite each and every one of you to please stand and once again to reject Satan and to profess our faith in the triune God. I ask us, do we reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, and now is seated at God's right hand. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, that life-giving force? Do you believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church? This is our faith. This is the faith that we profess this Pentecost Sunday. We pray that the Lord will send out his spirit and renew the face of the earth. By the power of this same spirit, let us bring to the Lord our prayers of need. For all entrusted with the word of God, for preachers, pastors, and parents, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For police, firefighters, postal workers, garbage collectors, for all who keep this complex world going, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have lost loved ones in the cause of freedom, may they be comforted by the memories of their noble service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized and confirmed, for all members of this assembly, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Albert Casanta, whom we remember in this Mass, and for Bernadette Melnick and Carmela DiGitano, who were buried this week. May all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jeannie and John Danker, in whose memory the sanctuary lamp is lit this week, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Teresa Peterson, Ron Gatte, Father Daniel Vinglaric, Father Marion Babjek, Joanne Calvi, Nora Sambella, Frank Kovalchik, Don and Jack Oliver, Catherine Konopka, and Chester Konopka, who are members who are remembered in our monthly altar memorial, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for the needs we find, hold within our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Memorial Day weekend, we pray for those who have died for our country, for those individuals who have served our country, and for those individuals now presently serving our country. We pray to the Lord. May the gift of your spirit, O God, continue to inflame our hearts, that we might bring your peace and justice to the whole world. Instill in your people of every language and creed a commitment to live justly and a desire to be one with you through Christ our Lord. 
This time I invite those children who would like to bring forth their offertory to please do so. While the gifts are being prepared, please join in singing number 348 in Breaking Bread, Spirit and Grace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as you promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may be revealed in us more abundantly. The hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you have made your adopted children. By uniting them to your only begotten Son, the same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God, and brought them together the many languages of the earth to proclaim one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt and praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together in the unending hymn of glory as together we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loves the human race, who walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we gather by his love, when once with his disciples, now for us, open the scriptures and break the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth the power of your Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the day before he suffered on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread. He said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Let me eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, and our Savior, whom you led through the passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the works of love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ who has been handed on to us. 
and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we will be counted now until the day of eternity amongst the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew the Church of St. Charles by the light of the Gospel. Strengthen the bonds of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, the whole world churned by strife. May your people shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we will come to the eternal dwelling place and live with you forever in the communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, martyrs, and all your saints. Together we will praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us offer one another a sign of peace. All with you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 
Freistunde. Mach die Freistunde. Was eine Freistunde. Was eine Freistunde. Body of Christ. Amen. During Body of Christ. Please join in singing number 341 and breaking bread. One bread, one Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. <laughs> Body of Christ, 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 body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ, body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. O God, who has bestowed heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace of that which has been given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon the church may retain all its force, and through this spiritual food, may gain for the church abundance of eternal redemption through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your and before we conclude, once again, we congratulate on this Pentecost Sunday those new members of our church who have gone through the RCIA and were baptized, confirmed, and received Eucharist at the Easter Vigil. Congratulations. And as you leave church today, members of the Catholic War Vets are passing out poppies. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our closing hymn, number 745 in Breaking Bread, America the Beautiful, verse 1 and 3. Oh, beautiful, forsacious 
skies for in the rays of grace for purple mountains majesty above the fruits with America America God's red his grace of Yeah. Uh-huh.